Attention Well, hi, everybody. Have an unlikely cloning solution for you this time around. Um, something, you know, a way to clone inside of Photoshop that we don't normally think of. All right, so let's zoom in on the problem here. And you can see that we have a gentleman on the ground over here. Uh, so he's got to go. There's a tripod that's got to go. Um, here's the problem. I was like, I couldn't really ask him to move at the time. The sun was in the midst of coming up right over the horizon. So uh, it was kind of a, a a crucial moment in shooting. Um, so I couldn't ask him to, to, to move, but I wanted to get that little flare off of the um, off of the propeller and everything. So I go ahead and I, I took the shot, even though I know I got to get rid of him, right? So we can sometimes take the spot healing brush or the clone stamp tool, and you could go over like an area like here with the tripod, and, and it'll do a great job of getting rid of that. Now, here's the problem. I can't do the same thing over here. Okay, if I go and I try to to start to try to remove him, you're gonna see we get all kinds of problems. Okay, so it, it almost looks good on the surface, but when you really look in, it's all patchy and blotchy and it would take us more time to fix. So here's another solution. When you see an area like this and you see something that's near it that you can, you can pull from, instead of worrying about a tool, because with the clone stamp tool or with the spot healing brush, I've got a, I've got a brush and I've got to pull from the source. Instead, just make a big selection. Just take the rectangular marquee tool. I'm just gonna make a big selection of an area that I know is close to what I wanna cover over here. Copy, paste, all right? And then just take your move tool, move it over into place, okay? Just like that. And so then, and then you can use your arrow keys to kind of nudge it in. But here's the, here's the little trick. I'm gonna kind of get it just by his foot. All right, that's looking good. Now we add a layer mask to this because of course you got all the seams and everything like that you have to cover up. So I add a layer mask to it. The layer mask is white. So that means I have to paint on it with the opposite color. All right, so I'm gonna set my, my brush tool. I'm gonna set the foreground color to black and I'm just gonna come over here and paint with black over any of these little seams that kind of stick through. Okay, make my brush a little bit smaller. There's one right over here. Now, if I happen to go too far, as you can see, I did over here with a shoe. I just hit the letter X, switches back over to white, and I get rid of that. Okay, so now to me, that's looking much better than it did with the spot healing brush, or really, frankly, it would have with the clone stamp tool at the time. Now, next thing we can do, command option shift and the letter E. That'd be control alt shift E on a PC. If you zoom in on it, a lot of times you'll see just a little bit of a repeating pattern. Okay, so that's that's when I'll jump in with the clone stamp tool. And I'll come over here and I'll just paint just a little bit in some random areas just to try to get rid of that pattern that looks like it was copied from another area. Okay, you'll see them over here sometimes. So the clones are the, the spot healing brush with content where it turned on is a perfect example for that because it'll just sample all the area around it. So you don't even really have to pick what you want to cover. It picks it for you. And then if I were to really fix this, there, there's another part of a tripod right over here. I'm not going to go crazy with it because I think in the end you'll almost think it's part of the plane, but I will get rid of the very, very bottom part of it. So if you're ever in a cloning situation and you have kind of a larger area that you want to clone, um, the spot healing brush doesn't work. The clone stamp tool is kind of, uh, it's too difficult and it's not working well. Just kind of go back to basics. Just pick an area from another part of the photo, make a selection and copy it over. And sometimes you'll be really surprised at how much faster it is.